All right, today's VOD session, we're taking a look at the Atlanta versus Seattle Game 4 Invasion Hardpoint. We're going to take a look at the final three hills and basically break everything down for you guys. This was a really big hardpoint just because if Seattle was able to take this, it would have gone to a Game 5 decider and it would have been a really nice search to destroy between these two really good search teams. So let's get right into this. All right, so we'll start with this P3 break. As you can see here, this is Atlanta's final attempt to try and break on into this P3. You see they're setting up three guys towards the middle area, one guy closer towards this side of the hill. and what they're going to try and do is just bully out through cafe try and get through you know towards mannequin and have people cut over so that they can try and get some of this scrap time and eventually help their rotation out towards this p4 and eventually try and chain that with the p5 as well if they can they're already at 183 points so any time that they can get on the p4 is just extra bonus as long as they can keep the spawns for that final p5 super hard hill to break so let's see what they do here in this p3 so as you see here they are starting to spread out they actually get a free kill on kyler here this is draza just trying to play one of the first bloods onto this break attempt as you see he gets his kill for free on kyler now what's interesting for seattle is they don't have anyone here watching this full street cross for themselves on hill they have two guys on time both guys are watching toward this mannequin area but they're not really having the full cross towards the street and phase is already towards this p4 so if phase can get any sort of break on in through here they can try and get some initial positioning towards this p4 as well and start chaining both of those with this scrap time and it's really important for them if they get to you know one 191 here so 191 is like the magic number because if you can get to 191 that means a full hold on another hill will win you the game so that's what they're trying to go for here try and see if they can get some type of scrap time because in their mind if they continue this pressure over here towards this side of the map they'll at least you know get the scrap time and they might even get spawns for p4 and then just went off the p4 instead because you know seattle is still at 147 here so they have a really big mountain to climb even if they were to hold that p5 so they would still need to have some more points uh go their way if you're seattle so as you can see here phase tries to break on in alec actually gets this kill they're trying to cross over towards uh this back side time and unfortunately they have just have two guys watching at that moment so draws up can't make that play but what do you know here simp here towards the rescue to try and get the traded kills that draws was not able to get he gets those two kills on abuza and rcds number four selling wins a big one-on-one -on -one in the back uh, with kyler who had just spawned up and now it's just one guy left on the hill they can easily try and break on in through this and right now this is a four down situation they have the scrap time for this hill and they already have a bz set up in this new time so this is really looking good for Atlanta phase in this situation. As you can see here, they're gonna have some split spawns actually, Seattle with number five spawning Palace with the rest of his team spawning gas. So this is something you just have to look for, especially with four downs. And as you can see Draza here, he actually turns and picks up for this kill. So really heads up play to actually look for that because he knows it's a four down. Uh, and that's actually a huge kill because in case, you know, Kyler stayed alive and he was able to get a free pinch on anyone that might have not seen him on this pinch and the rest of his team, you know, they get this initial kill on number four here and they start pushing this way, they can easily Easily break on into this p4 for free uh, but now they're gonna have to work for it just a little bit more because they don't have anyone pinching for them so i can see here with this pressure that atlanta was able to create getting this scrap time they have number three watching uh this cross towards hill so you know number two and number one just have to basically stay alive so that sim can hold the cross for them and make sure if he can try and get some shots over towards the seattle players trying to break the p4 so we're moving on into this treehouse hill you'll see selium spawns out towards this lamar tank over here that's just because he was pushed up blue but he had that free pressure from breaking that spawn earlier and now he's going to try and just refill towards time because they already have that initial positioning draza gets a kill on the car bomb so that's a free first blood for them in this hill a bz is on time but he has two guys hitting this back alley for him so he needs some help that's where draza comes in uh, draza actually gets one on kyler and then they're gonna try and teamwork onto rc's on hill but unfortunately though for phase you know number seven is already in prime position this is ender he's already prime position to look out towards this window to help Alec on time. So because the BZ was kind of forced out of the position, he wasn't in the time already. He was trying to hold an off angle. And because they were able to actually back him down from this back alley, he had to, you know, back himself off just to make sure that he's just staying alive in the situation. That's, you know, priority number one. And, you know, he backs off from the hill. And this allows RCs here to get in the hill instead. And that allows Seattle with this initial positioning towards the hill to have seven Ender on time, just watching over him, watching this ladder for him. And they're actually just playing a tight setup where only one guy is actually 
actually on the hill and they actually just have number seven watching over him so Alec can watch his own window as well he does that too so Seattle actually really salvages this situation from something that was a, a pretty bad rotation loss at the beginning they're able to back down a BZ without dying first here Alec makes a huge play to get on into the hill and Ender makes the heads up play to actually go top blue to try and help him out so they actually are able to break on in right at the beginning of this hill and have a chance going into this next p5 so as you can see here 201 to 165 if they hold the rest of this time you know it's up for grabs in that next p5 if they can make it a little bit mixy on the rotation so as you see here in atlanta they're just trying to not die here in this situation trying to get any sort of freebies that seattle might give them they're just being super hard kills and as you see here cell actually drops ender's able to get a free kill on him and since seattle has this time this allows kyler to make a play towards this middle of the map and try and break these spawns going into this p5 so he's thinking ahead already and he's just trusting the rest of his team to hold this p4 for the rest of the time without him they can definitely do it 3v4 you see a lot of teams do it and because of the situation with already one guy down and it's hard to break this treehouse hill from this side if you don't have initial positioning he's going to try and take this free play of actually breaking the spawn and, and what happens here is since no one on phase is playing safety towards this p5 this is going to set up kyler for two piece right here so uh in my opinion someone probably just has to play safe here probably draws us since he was the last one to spawn up he should be just playing safe holding their back holding their deep cross towards a new hill making sure that no one on the seattle passes by because all they need to do is make sure that they hold spawns for p5 and they'll win the game outright so as you see here he tries flooding with the rest of his team and number one and number two get two piece for it kyler is able to break the spawn and once he gets these two kills as you see selling spawns out number six spawns close and now seattle has initial rotation towards this p5 and they can win off it themselves because they're still on this p4 time if they hold the rest of this they can try and chain this right here and as you see here alec and ender still holding this p4 together alec stays alive on time gets another kill he's staying alive he now has some help from kyler who had just broken the spawn because obviously in line back here abuza since he spawns up he's going to try and take this route towards top flag and hold the right side of the map for them and that allows kyler to put some pressure back on this p4 uh, alec is eventually going to get tacked out which is unfortunate they don't get to that 191 mark but you know they do have this castle rotation which is huge so honestly for phase right now they do get the scrap time and all you need to do here is try and just work a break together make it mixy in some way and maybe if you're lucky you can get a break on in so we'll see what happens here as you see here just everyone just trying to take initial positioning towards the front of p5 here and this is super important to see where they're trying to break from as you see here abuza behind the tank he's watching this right side alec on this left side is actually just playing in a corner in ice cream hoping that someone goes through ice cream or goes through this right side and he gets a free kill or he's going to be relying on somebody who's top p5 watching over him and he can activate on anything that he sees towards his p2 area and then number five is on the castle wall over here so let's see how this rotation ends up going for seattle here so as you see kyler is starting to get back down from some nades from phase phase is all grouped up towards this courtyard area they're trying to attack out this cabin wall this forces kyler to back off and this is an important con because if he gives this up no one is watching this middle of the map for seattle as you see here you know since he gives this up right now this is on somebody else to start helping out towards the middle of the map here but unfortunately you still have these two guys watching this left side and no one's coming towards that side and actually ends up screwing seattle here so as you see phase is starting to break on in they get some trades towards kyler who was you know backed off from those nades abuza gets a kill towards his tank area but he's a free trade now because they know where his position is you know he does actually get one kill before he dies but the real important part here is that they've already given up this pressure towards this flag side of the p5 which causes kyler to spawn out here and alec who was in ice cream before cast you know just race back to the hill because he knows there's already a bunch of people on phase that are already trying to break on in towards this p5 they already have two guys here so technically this is just a two-on-one towards the hill if they are fast enough so that's why alec is trying to get back towards the hill because he knows he needs to be there for ender in order to save this hill from actually being a break for atlanta phase and coming up right here is probably the most important gunfight of the entire map just because of how important these numbers are in this specific situation you know if alec gets the kill it's an easy hold for seattle because they can just double up on time with this last guy you know in this palace area they can just prime play for him and then the rest of their team is just playing the front crosses towards the p5 and if phase wins this gunfight you know that creates a weird situation where it's a two on one on hill they can break this hill and they only need you know 30 seconds left with 35 seconds still left on the hill so as you see here draza gets super weak from alec he's at 
at 33 HP. He's able to finesse his life though, but somehow with the slide cancel is able to get the kill on RCs. The rest of his team wins gunfights towards the middle map area. So these are some really big gunfights by number three and number four here, getting those spawners from not being able to reinforce the P5 for Seattle. And you know, Draza wins that 1v1, which is so huge. And you know, obviously it's still a big one-on-one -on -one because if Alec lives, he's able to help number seven on time here. And number seven actually gets this kill on a BZ. So, you know, if Alec had lived, it's still both of them on time with two phase guys trying to break on in and they don't have the better positioning of being inside P5 already. They're on that low ground. They'll have to do some hops. And then you have your teammates spawning on these cuts and they can try and kill anyone that might be reinforcing for the phase side. So, uh, you know, this really, really big kills for phase here, specifically that draws a kill. I can't tell you how much of a big kill that is because it's just so important in terms of the rest of this game, you know, because now Ender has to contest him. Ender actually gets the second kill after he had killed a BZ. But like I said before, Cell and Simp do such a good job with the spawners getting those kills and then they can try and break onto the hill themselves. So honestly, you just keep having this race to the hill for the two areas of where teams are spawning and you're just trying to get some sort of time. You know, they're constantly trying to break on in, but as long as you can soak just a little bit and that's what FaZe is doing over here, they're just trying to get this time, see if they can get a little bit more time going into that next P1. And as you see here, Simp lives with one health, but unfortunately he does get traded out, but you know, they did their job. They made it mixy on Seattle so that they can't win on this P5. They have to go to another hill and FaZe and Seattle are both already spawning out. So these are some really big gunfights going into P1. As you see here, number four gets a really big kill in cafe on Kyler to get that first person, first body towards that new hill. They have number two spawning towards this A street and number three spawning towards broken area. So they're kind of spawning in both sides of the map here, which creates a little bit of chaos for Seattle because FaZe is a, basically on all areas towards this P1. You know, they have this mannequin side, they have A, S, and D, they have DVDs and they have a guy on time so this is a really good setup you're just trying to play one kill here if you're phase uh, just player one make sure you get one before you die and that's what they're doing here they're just all holding their own cut that by themselves playing a little corner making sure they don't die as you see here simp gets a free kill on kyler while he's just playing a corner inside dvd here a bz is going to have a gunfight towards his patio area but once again he has some help with draza who draws is in a really great position to start helping everyone out because what he can do from this humvee is watch you know anyone that might be trying to hit through this no man's area anyone that might try and hit through dvds to try and kill a simp anyone that tries to go a street to kill a bz and anyone that is trying to go from mannequin here so he has all of these lanes for phase so he's in a really good position to help everyone out on the hill so that's what happens he turns gets his kill on a bz uh you know simp gets another kill before he's able to die so they actually trade with each other and then you know he can just reinforce the hill they just need nine more seconds they know that they've already got three down alec is the only one that's even close and he's trying to spawn kill just to open it up for the rest of his teammates and they're just going to try and hit back door that's the only chance that they have to breaking on into this last p1 and phase knows that so they're just gunning everyone trying to go through this back door here and phase is able to cap this off with a win they win the series three to one so a really big p5 break out of phase there you know even that p3 break at the end of the hill just to get that little bit of scrap time you know they probably screwed up on that p4 just a little bit not playing as safe as they probably could have you know going into that next p5 but they do get the break on in on the castle hill super hard hill to break but if you're able to coordinate like they were through that courtyard area and you know actually play spawners well once you get kills you can actually get a break on that hill and they do that pretty much perfectly there so that helps them out and it basically caps off the entire series for them gets that 3-1 victory rather than having to go to a map 5 decider versus seattle so that's going to do it for this vod session thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one